In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 13, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Diego Padres vs. Washington Nationals The Washington Nationals will host the San Diego Padres on Saturday in the second game of a three-game series. The Padres took care of business on Friday, beating the Nationals 10-5. The Padres are 7-1 in their last eight games versus a right-handed starter and are 4-1 in their last five games versus a starter with a WHIP greater than 1.3. The Padres are also 11-4 in their last 15 games versus a team with a winning percentage below .400. The Nationals are 14 to 37 in their last 51 home games and are 14 to 38 in their last 52 overall. The Nationals are also 14 to 38 in their last 52 games on grass and are 14 to 39 in their last 53 home games versus a right-handed starter. The San Diego Padres continue their three-game weekend series against the Washington Nationals and what is all-star Juan Soto's return to face his old team. The Padres loaded up for a playoff run, which includes Soto but haven't looked the part of a World Series contender as they dropped 5 of 7 before the Nationals series. The Nationals haven't been any better, as they are last in the NL and only have two wins in August leading up to this series with the Padres. Projected starters are right-hander Yu Darvish for the Padres and right-hander Anibal Sanchez for the Nationals. Darvish is 10 to 5 in 21 starts with a 3.28 earned run average and a 1 WHIP. Darvish has pitched well lately, as his last three starts have all been quality starts, pitching at least six innings and allowing three earned runs or less. Sanchez who has just recently come off the injury list in mid-July, is 0-5 in 5 starts with a 7.56 earned run average and a 1.56 WHIP. Sanchez may still be trying to get his bearings on the season, but nothing has gone right as his two starts in August have been brutal with a 7.71 earned run average and a 1.82 WHIP. Offensively, the Padres rank around the top 10 in most offensive stats in the 15 days while the Nationals are closer to the bottom 10. Plus, we have a large sample size at this point of the season, and the Nationals are the worst team against the run line in baseball and also the worst home team in baseball. Take Darvish over a struggling Sanchez. So the San Diego Padres to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. With Anibal Sanchez starting and a bad bullpen for Washington, the Padres' sizzling offense could get to nine runs alone. On the other side, the Padres have allowed at least four runs in the last three starts made by Yu Darvish, and he has not been as sharp on the road this season. With the over having cashed in the last seven head-to-head -head meetings between these teams, I have to believe that this one winds up being a high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Kansas City Royals After running over the Kansas City Royals in Friday's series opener, the Los Angeles Dodgers will be looking to put things in reverse for another opportunity to crush their road foe on Saturday. The Dodgers piled eight runs on the scoreboard in the opener, and the Royals helplessly looked on with little hope of a comeback. They'll try to keep things more competitive in the rematch with Brad Keller starting at pitcher again Los Angeles' Andrew Heaney. The Dodgers are 37-16 in their last 53 Saturday games and 40-11 in their last 51 overall. The Royals are 5-1 in their last six home games and 5-1 in their last six overall. Overall. The over is 3-1-2 to to in Dodgers' last 6 overall. The over is 8-2 to two in Royals' last 10 interleague games. The Dodgers are 5-0 to zero in the last 5 meetings. The Dodgers are on a roll and have a stranglehold on the National League West crown heading into the home stretch. Coming into this matchup with the Royals, they have won 10 straight games and five straight on the road. They have an elite mix of pitching and power bats and will be a tough out for anyone in a playoff series. The Royals, on the other hand, are looking forward to their prospects for next season as they sit near the bottom of the American League Central and will not have a shot at the postseason. Andrew Heaney has been very strong for Los Angeles, posting a 0.64 earned run average, 1 WHIP, and 37-10 Kelvin BB ratio in six starts. He gets a Royals team that has hit the fourth fewest home runs in the bigs. The Los Angeles Dodgers are in one of those zones that they seem to get in every year 
and they pile up victories at a crazy rate. Andrew Heaney hasn't pitched a ton this season, but he's been downright ridiculous on the mound. Brad Keller has been hittable all year, and that includes 17 hits and 9 earned runs allowed in his last 11.2 innings. This Dodgers offense is just too dangerous for the Royals, which makes it hard to bet against Los Angeles here. So the Los Angeles Dodgers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Dodgers crushed the Royals at the plate in Friday's opener. On one hand, Los Angeles has one of the best batting lineups in baseball, and on the other hand, the Royals walked seven batters. The latter is a big no-no when facing a team capable of ruining any game in a single inning. It's either going to be Brad Keller or Kansas City struggling bullpen running into problems on Saturday. Even though Heaney has great numbers this season, which includes his sub-one earned run average, he still has only started six games this season and coming off a second stint on the injury list for pain in his throwing shoulder. The Royals can exploit that, as they have been sneaky good at putting up runs lately, ranking sixth in runs scored in the last 15 days and averaging 5.1 runs per game in the 10 games leading up to the Dodgers series. The Dodgers rank second in runs scored in the last 15 days and Keller doesn't pose much of a problem to their talented lineup. The Dodgers also have scored under five runs in a game just four times in their last 15 games before Friday's contest. There's too much power at the plate to think the Dodgers will leave Kauffman Stadium quietly. Get ready for another offensive soiree from a team averaging 5.45 runs per game on the road. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Oakland Athletics vs. Houston Astros The Oakland Athletics play on the road against American League West rival the Houston Astros in the second game of a three-game series on Saturday. The Athletics are 41-72, which is last in the American League West. 31 half games behind the front-running Houston Astros. Houston has won only three of its last six games, but the Astros enjoy a comfortable 11-game lead over the second-place Seattle Mariners. The Oakland Athletics are 0-6 straight up in their last six games and are 1-4 straight up in their last five games against an opponent in the American League. The Houston Astros are 4-1 straight up in their last five games at home and are 6-3 straight up in their last nine games. The Houston Astros are playing much better baseball than Oakland sitting in first place in the American League West while the Athletics are last in the division. Houston has won 35 of its last 52 overall and the Astros have won 35 of the last 251 played at home. Oakland is last or next to last in runs scored, team batting average, on base percentage and slugging percentage. Oakland is not much better on the mound as the Athletics are 23rd in team earned run average and 21st in WHIP. Houston Astros starting pitcher Lance McCullers JR was 13 to 5 with an earned run average 3.16 and 185 strikeouts last season. The Colors has been on the injured list all season until now. Houston has been a mixed bag when it comes to scoring over the last half dozen games or so, but when the offense is contributing the team does well. The McCullers angle is an interesting one as well. As a veteran, McCullers should be able to jump right back into the fold and perform. That said, the team probably won't leave him in the game for too long. Houston is extremely hot at the moment and I would be a fool to step in front of them here. So the Houston Astros to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The total has finished under in six of the last eight games that Oakland has played against Houston. In addition, the total has finished under in eight of the last 10 games that Oakland has played on the road. Oakland is next to last in baseball and runs scored with 379, which is an average of only 3.38 runs per game. Houston leads baseball in the under, as the total has finished under in 68 Houston's 111 games or 61.8% of the time. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.